bankers. So the five biggest banks in the United States, Bank of America, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, Chase, U.S. Bank Corp., and Wells Fargo. I don't know anybody that uses U.S. Bank Corp. Midwest. Yeah. Midwest. Same, yeah, okay. And uh, further west as well. Okay. Not really a presence up here. No. Uh, they pay an average of 0.4% interest on consumer deposits and saving and money market accounts. Wow, that's a lot better than a year ago. The five highest yielding savings accounts at banks pay an average of 2.14% during the same period. So five times the rate of interest earned at the big banks. Yet, the five big banks collectively hold about half of all the money kept at U.S. commercial banks in savings and money market accounts tracked by the FDIC, which raises, not begs the question of, why? Why do Americans keep 40, not, not 42 billion, Americans would have earned $42 billion more in interest had they had not they kept the money there and instead kept it elsewhere. Raise your hand if you're guilty of this. I, I mean, I am. I'm uh, not. But uh, Here's what I do. What do you do? I have an account at one of the big banks. Mm-hmm. I have an account at one of the places that has high savings accounts. Pretty easy. I keep basically nothing at the big bank except for paying the bills. And anything else that is out there for emergency fund, yada, yada, goes into the higher interest account and sits there. Mm -hmm. I have links set up between them so I can transfer money back and forth in the event that I need it. It does take a day, so it's not available snap of your finger on demand. But it's really easy to do, actually. Now, I do understand why no one wants to give up their account at a big bank because it's it's just a pain. It's like now I have all to move bill payments. All exactly. My. And who's to say that this new bank that I'm going to is going to keep their rates high? What if they lowered them nine months from now? So like no one I do know people that do hop around to like the best yep. savings account offers. But I do think it's it's very easy if you just say, look, I'm going to have one account at a big bank for ease of transactions and one account somewhere that pays more and I can move money back and forth. I think that that's something that's very reasonable and very easy. It costs almost nothing in terms of time. These banks make, Bank of America, all these five large banks are making so much money on this right now. Yes. They haven't had net interest margin since like 2010. No, and, and, and the reason why those big banks keep their like their interest rates as low as they can is because quite honestly. They know we're all lazy. No, not even late. They don't want your deposits right now. True. They don't have enough loans to make, so that's another reason why they're like, no, it's fine. Keep it where it is. We're not gonna, we, where are we going to make loans? Transaction volume in real estate is down 30% year over year. We don't have enough loans that we can make. Keep your money. Like We'll sit on your money and not entice you to send us more. All we're going to do is park this at the Fed every night. Yeah. And so that's what happens. But it's costing Americans $42 billion a quarter in missed interest payments if they had been at higher yielding bank accounts. Maybe that'll resonate with people. I don't know. Higher yielding FDI insured bank FDIC accounts. FDIC insured. Yeah, we're FDI not we're not talking about like you know loaning this money out to uh, Bob's savings account. It's it's an FDIC insured thing that we're talking about. Forty two. That's one hundred and sixty billion dollars a year. That could give every American ten million dollars a year. It's pretty wild. It it couldn't actually. That's the no, the joke. That's that's that's. Uh, that's it would it, it would be what is it? So one hundred and sixty billion. You got how many Americans do you think actually have a bank account? Probably 160 million, like half of Americans, because yeah. kids don't. Yeah, and then there's, there's a probably large a bunch of unbanked. unbanked people. Sure, it's a thousand bucks a person. Yeah, on average, not how it goes, but yeah, no. But it, it, again, like most of the money's concentrated in a much smaller group of people. But you, you look at the the math, and it's like 160 billion dollars in interest Americans are missing out on. 